The Tempe Grand Prix is a competition established out of an apprenticeship for stand-up comedy. As do other fans of such performances, Yahweh Shimoto and her two friends, Yagumi Takashiki and Zuzu Honosho, form the stand-up trio Young Wawa. After qualifying for the final route in the pricks, the three go up against other comedian trios, but only one group can emerge victorious. With participants house in the famous dorm where many comedians before them have lodged, the contestants' time living at the establishment will give them a chance to prove what they have, what it takes to make their audience laugh until they cry. This anime has about 12 episodes. It premiered July 2nd, 2022 to September 24th, 2022, based off a manga series. It is comedy, theme in school. Each episode is 20 minutes per episode, and it's for the PG-13. Now let's get started into the review. What I really like about Tempe laughing that you cry, um, it was really a nice, good uh, reputation of a very strong female representation in the comedy aspect. And what I really like about this individual anime itself, like it takes a very different approach to its storyline, especially when you have a full house of girls who are trained for themselves to be comedians and female comedians. That, And I think, you know, it shows the more of what a Japanese comedian stand-up comedy is like versus what it's like in the Western countries. What I also like about it, how each of the troops have their own different uh, segments or storytelling, how they connect to their audience. And, and then another thing that I like is like their manager. Normally their landlady you know, help the girls out. But definitely, it's a different approach because they have a landlord who he himself takes upon, basically, himself to be, like, the janitor, the landlord. Well, he's also doing his own, like, competition stuff where he's, like, a bodybuilder, which I thought was very fascinating because when he appears in any scene that he's in, he looks like he's so done with life. Like, he's, like, completely done with life. Like, boom, right here. Like, look at him. He's, like, this is one of the comedian girls one of their rooms and this is how he like just walks in to clean their air conditioning and then you have these random people just throwing random yellow glitter at him and his expression is like I ain't done with life I I was trying to train and be a bodybuilder and now I'm a landlord to the female comedians in this giant building and he's like I need a vacation and I feel for him but it's overall it's a very hilarious anime if you love that type of comedy stuff and you know you just waiting for like the laughter that is the Japan community approach to this. I think it's very intriguing different from what we're normally seeing. You normally know, we have anime to hit right into the seriousness and this doesn't go right into seriousness. It does more into the comedy aspect of it where it is more of a lighthearted note and it doesn't take itself too seriously but the girls do get in their self um, what's the word I'm looking for? Into their own interesting act antics because each of the groups are very unique in their personalities especially with all the members and when you're watching some of the groups be introduced you're just like what's happening and why are they like this but it's a good like haha approach to it because it's very lighthearted, and it's very interesting because you see each time the episode premieres each of the group takes their their spotlight to go over their routine go over their sketches and try to come up with new materials and just kind of like bounce off one another to get to see how their rivals are doing and how they're reacting to one another but definitely it's a good approach to see how they kind of balance off each other and form their friendship or basically a bond and a sisterhood and how they kind of like pull pranks on them without the pranks being too cruel or too ridiculous but basically when you focus on the other the main group yeah yeah young wawa their hilarious antics will just keep you <laughs> guessing to the end and they all have their own motivation to win the uh Tempe grand prix whether that be for family or money or fame or recognition of being like you know the trio group of young comedians to go ahead and press it before them i think it's very interesting to add onto your anime list if you just want something look like a very light-hearted anime to enjoy and then this one will definitely make you laugh but not <laughs> until you cry unless you know you're you just are easily amused with Japanese humor and the jokes that they tell in this anime that you will laugh till you cry. But I definitely give it like a six out of ten. It was okay. I just really wish that you know besides the episode part that they just flesh out the characters a little more. I feel like we just barely scratched the surface of how we were introduced to these characters and kind of left on a cliffhanger until the very final end. But definitely step out Tempe laughing till you cry and let me know what you think and comment down below what anime to review next and I'll see you next time for another anime review. But until then, bye.